What do we got in here? Twin sapient root. Yeah, those became a whole lot more common. I'm upgrading the hell out of my weapon the moment, the moment I get it back to camp. I have over 200,000 scory on my character right now. The accidental grinding that happens when you replay content. Boy, that looks like it might hurt. Am I supposed to jump in there? Uh, uh. <laughs> so you can fly here, you lazy bum. What's this bullshit? <laughs> Light is a stranger yeah. here now. This is an ancient night, and its children are strong. We walk in the realm of the Elder Dark now. I can feel Cisna's web folding in around us. Geffen awaits us at the sacred pool deep in the Na. Oh. Geffen could not have chosen a better place in which to mend the sundered hearts. There is great power at the end of the Gnaw. We simply must get there. I thought that was her face. Because like, if you look at that, like... It looks like the, re like the red area would be... Like the tarp in the middle would be maybe someone's face area. The energy stuff would be like their hair. The creature on top, pointing downward, would be like the headdress going over their brow, and so on. So I thought there was- I thought, I thought that we were zoomed super close in on somebody's face. But it's actually just this thing. And she's over here talking to me off camera. <laughs> I'm like, why is- why is this- why is she getting such a close-up right now? Alright, it's uh, evidently lamp time. But yeah, I largely realized, oh, I can select who my ally is based on what quest I have selected, unless I'm not... Oh, the, the quest selection switched to Amara. But if I have Solarin chosen, I can have Solarin as my teammate and just do the other quests incidentally without actually... Uh, yeah. Because you get certain allies based on which quest you're highlighting. Please take me out of here. Uh, yeah, you get you get you get an ally based on what quest you're highlighting, so you can actually make strategic choices there. And Solarin seemed to be way better as an ally for that fight. She could take a hit. She had range. <clears throat> I had to pick her up at one point, but she never she never fully died. I should I wish I'd brought her into the other dungeon. Hello. You guys have moved again. You are truly mighty to have defeated the shadow of the Ashen. May your courage sustain you as you greet the shadows of the Gnaw. I was right to trust you. Who else could have defeated the shadow of the Ashen? I feel for Amara. The darkness turns even our own family against us. Though it is good to see the human heart in safe hands, our task is far from done. Take it to Amara now. If any know how to reunite the hearts, it is her. I was right to... It is noble of Geffen to unite the human and listener hearts for us. If only she could have done so in a place less drenched in darkness. Got sneezed on. <laughs> Giant cloud of sneeze just all over the screen. <laughs> it's unfortunate. Aw, see? We're making happy people. Just hanging out around the place, having a nice time. Also working their asses off. By killing the Shadow of the Ashen, you have erased an ancient stain on my family's honor. Just be sure that you know when the Veil is serving you, and when you are serving the Veil. 
Like you, I've wandered far and wide. Never have I felt so at home as I do right now. It's a strange thing to finally be in the right place at the right time. I figure, based on that first reaction I got, we're probably going to have new dialogue from basically everyone about the Shadow of the Ash, and that seems to be an especially big deal in the in terms of the quests given, or the bosses that exist. A fine house Bataran has made. Oh, he thinks too little of his own comfort. Nope, not you. Pot destruction. Boop. So easy. You so much as bump into it and they shatter to the winds. Lyra always had a thirst for knowledge that some would call unsavory. The Darkling Darkling. Maybe there aren't really any new people that'll have a reaction to that stuff. Alright. Let's look into how much I can upgrade my big thing. I think I have... I think I have even more than I think, right? Yeah, because there's also these guys. Oh! <laughs> I have 130,000 right there. Yeah. Weapons gonna get strong. Plus seven. Sixty-three thousand plus the uh two roots. Oh. That's the last one. Ba -ba 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 -ba. I have so much more scoria. Ah, Maybe I'll look at the wiki or something to find to see if there is even a wiki for for starters, uh, but to see if I can cross. Oh, these things stack. Oh, but not those ones don't. Those don't stack, but these guys stack. There's 50 here, 70 here. They don't stop at nine like some items do. That's interesting. Hmm. I might check the wiki, just to see if there's an, a better weapon that I can go for. Uh, the best I can do otherwise is guess, whereas there's probably a listing of the damage numbers for the different tiers or other stuff like that. Because I have enough on me that I could maybe just upgrade a new weapon up to max, but it's kind of guesswork which ones will be able to upgrade to what maximum cap. And you pay for, and if you if you experiment by leveling them up as a guess, then you uh, will run out of resources immediately. I'm trying not to do that. Okay, so I didn't necessarily do the big deep dive I was thinking about so much. Really, what I'm doing is I'm throwing my hat in on the fact that this thing has a 30% crit chance, and that sounds pretty sweet. <laughs> uh, also, when you go through all my items, of which I have so many. Uh, I think more. I think actually most of them are two-handed weapons. Which is interesting. But yeah, uh, it's actually a good thing I ran out of upgrades for my existing weapon. Because I do kind of need to have a good one-handed weapon. Because this next zone is apparently just going to be in the black. And I don't want that. I forgot to grab my upgrade items. Yeah, this area, next area looks like it's going to be completely dark. And that sounds like it'll be a problem for me. It'd be nice to be able to hold something that holds light. Let's put you away. Although I might go back to it just based on the amount of upgrades it already has. We'll see if I can surpass it. I don't really know how far my numbers will take me. Honestly. Like, will I just run out? Oof, we're only at four. Ah. Uh. Things may not be looking great. Alright, so to take it to plus six, I need a few more. 
Uh, I lost count because it. I lost ca I lost count of my how many times I pressed it because it. And it I think it interrupted me. Mmm, it's gonna be down to the wire. Sixty-three thousand. If I don't make it, I might grind it just to feel good about it, <laughs> just to finish it off. Oh, I have a lot. But that might be all the more reason to grind it, though. Uh, 63,000. I need 6,000. Less than 6,000. We're so close. And then that'll be maxed out. So while I was wrong about these just being a straight Titanite slab final end cap upgrade item, upgrade item, uh, there is only one more tier after that, which is the one where you require two of them, and then, then you cap out. So it's really, really similar final tier thing. Praetorian Regalia. Armor forged from the finest Letherian alloys for the officers of the city's legions. So fancy. Seems a shame to get blood all over it, Isla. The human heart of Lathyrus. The listeners welcomed humanity and taught them the ways of the world, helping to build the great city and recreate and create the human heart of Lathyrus. Once the human and listener hearts were joined, the Lathyrian seers used the twin hearts to bend the power of light to serve all equally. It was up to we seers to guard the union of the hearts. We failed. Minus 60% stamina regeneration, 30 stamina stability. I should look into my other shields. Do you upgrade shields? I hope not, because I'm out of money. <laughs> I've had a few later variations of shields that might be better, but I don't know if I'll use shields in general. We'll see. So 30, 60, 50, 40, 45, 25. Whoa. Whoa. This has the uh, hi it almost has the highest stamina stability and does have the lowest stamina regeneration penalty. Why do you suck so much? <laughs> it's you lose 30 stamina regen just for uh, 60 stamina regen just for 30 stability. Like they keep getting better. I don't know how the other ones compare. I haven't really looked at them ever, really. There's so many shields. All right. Uh. Oh. 1070. 2060. 70, 75. 1580. Okay. Yeah, I think I like you, obviously. Wow! It's interesting because as far as I can tell, uh, and I think a few threads I glanced at largely reinforced this idea, uh, the weapons in this game seem to be almost all roughly equal and balanced in stats. And it's just a matter of like, do you want to go a little heavier on like, crit chance or this other effect or something? Uh, but by and large they tend to be kind of balanced across the board one way or another, like people are breaking down like the math of like damage per hit per second or something. And in, at least the, the couple of times I saw somebody try to attempt doing such a calculation, it seemed like they were basically coming out to be like, eh. It's like, do you want to do 105 or 106.5 DPS was like what people were coming up with, which is when I kind of gave up on researching weapons of what might be good to go into for another weapon. Uh, Cause I, it seemed to be that they were negligible indifference uh these shields are not <laughs> they're super not negligible see i'm using the right one right three thousand lumens i think somebody was not paying attention in the comments yeah i think so i think somebody said that I made a new, better lamp and then stored it instead of wearing it. And uh, I think they're just wrong about that? I don't know. I don't know. 
Anyway. Use my new shield. Oh, that's not the block button. There we go. A nice little shield. We'll see how much I use it, but it's there. It's all shiny. That's how you know it's good. Yeah, relatively minor stamina loss. It would have been nice to be able to switch to this during the last fight as an option, but I'd have to do the whole dungeon, and so I wasn't really in a hurry to do that. But I'll probably be doing a lot of the next zone looking like this. Running around with my lamp out, swinging my shiny axe. Yeah, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go get 6,000 scoria real quick before I plunge into that. And we're back. It wasn't even very time consuming. I just cleared up to the door in the first dungeon. And it was already like, oh, wow, yeah, everything here drops like 800 scoria per kill. So we're largely cool. So I've got plus seven, plus seven. This one's 30% crit. This one does more than twice as much damage. It's pretty fast though, and it lets me use a light. It's pretty fast. <laughs> And now I've got a light, and I've got a shield, and these quests say, take the human heart to Amara at the Na. Go to the sacred pool and give the twin hearts to Geffen. <laughs> these three quests all say the same, are all the same quest. All right, journey complete, journey complete, journey complete. Go to the Na and find Lyra. So that's the one thing left over, basically. Other than that, we're good. I guess I should bring him along. Even though I have a companion that's way better, basically. Wait, I beat a boss. Did I get a new thing? Yeah, I did. The Umbral Veil. You can survive one killing blow at great cost. Death holds no domain over the darkness, yet the shadows must be paid the, for their protection. The scriptures of this relic are but small tear, tear, tears? Tears in the tapestry of lies. Lyric. Tears and tears being spelled the same way is always a problem. I assume that means you lose all of your scoria, but you survive one killing blow. And I think this overall actually reduces enough damage over time that it's better than one killing blow, potentially, but I don't know. And none of these are new. Okay. Well, now I know. Now I know. Back to the new zone. I'm about to deck some fools in the face! In what might be the final zone. When do I go to the cave that has the red pool in it, though? Huh. At this point, I don't think I care about Scoria. I think I might have less reason to explore than ever before, which is good because this place looks like it'd probably be ass to explore, given that it's pitch black and so on. Uh, do I have spears to use? I have some spears. I probably should have crafted more. Eh, I probably should craft more right now. Spend all of my scoria probably on the lowest level spear, just so I have a ton of them for navigation purposes. But yeah, as far as I'm aware, I have no reason to explore right now, because I've already maximum upgraded my flask, or at least I maximum upgraded its quantity, not its healing capacity maybe, but its healing capacity is already so high that it's basically maxed out anyway. Is it on this? It's on the screen, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it currently heals 336 out of 381. So, the only way it doesn't full heal me is if my if I'm in my last 50 hit points, which if I have let it get that close, it's a decent chance I've already been killed. My weapons are both maximum upgrade, I, I upgraded, and I can't invest any of my uh, scoria in upgrading my character themselves. There we go. I don't really want it to have more than one stack. Whoa, went off the bottom of the screen. I'll keep it in one stack, which I assume is where... I assume 99's where it caps. And now I've got a bunch of spears. So I don't have to worry about not having ammunition to navigate the environment with. If 
But yeah, the moment I finished upgrading my we both my weapons, Scoria ceased to m exist as something that matters, I think. Partner, there you are. Alright. Let's try to get through this place. And find your sister. He's dead! Um, Is the glowy thing on your head new? He does not get interrupted by my attacks. Danger, danger. The little claw guys. They're always a weird fight. They're dead. Do I hear someone crawling around? Does this stuff hurt? Or does it just make me slow? I can just barely make out the floor in front of me. So, so far I'm not gonna fall in a hole. Uh-oh. Who could have guessed that this would be a trap? <laughs> and that's why you need a co-op ally. So they can do that. They can soak hits. Where am I? Ah. There's like a little outcrop. A little bit that sticks out. You broke my horns. Uh oh. <laughs> Good. She's the aggressive type. You good? Uh. There we go. <gasps> She's the platforming in this game. The surprise slopes. Where they can just go. Alright, we'll go here. Uh oh. What? Why is there another of you? Where'd you come from? Peace out. I don't want them following me. Maybe I don't need the spears as much as I thought. Seems to be more that they're an option. Oh, they're still coming. Got him. Ooh. You doing some exploding? Uh... <gasps> We're fine. Right, that makes this area less scary than it is in a Dark Souls game, thankfully. These areas where you have to, like, navigate areas where you can't tell where, you're, where you can survive very well, uh, because at least in this one you don't just instantly plummet into the water as if you have n no f ability to float whatsoever. The Souls games will just have you instantly fall off a cliff and die, which is always annoying because you can't see the cliff and because, uh, it's not how water works. <laughs> you don't just instantly plummet in one second. How am I gonna get out there? Let's see. This might connect. Yep. I can't help but I have to explore. <laughs> it's gonna be a bunch of irrelevant items, but I can't help but try to get to them. 
Traversal can be fun. And this level's about a new traversal problem. Hello. Oh! Rude, rude, rude. I don't like how your chest is a mouth. Go back. Evolve into something else instead. Is uh, Red King is here. I fought tons of you guys though, like super early in the game. I'm ready. Oh, I just did a boss fight full of this guy. I attack so fast now. I can't really tell when I'm critting or not. The individual attacks are kind of small in damage anyway. So it makes it a little hard to tell which ones might be doing more damage. But I also don't know how strong crits are. Like, video games and tabletop games and so on have very rarely agreed fully on what a crit even should be. I would say probably the most common number might be double damage for crit. Maybe because of D&D. But there are so many versions of critting where it's like plus 75% damage, plus 50% damage. I've even seen plus 15% damage where crits are super low impact, but hey, a little bonus. But wow, 15% is a small bonus. Great critical strike. Oh, oh, spooky ghost. Stop that. <laughs> Thankfully they have a weapon, which means they don't do the actually dangerous thing of grabbing me. That was the weird- that was the weird enemy where they got progressively less dangerous. Like, the one that had- the red- the red ghost that has a weapon is pretty dangerous. But the blue ghost that has a weapon is actually less dangerous than a blue ghost that doesn't have a weapon, because the one that doesn't have a weapon does the grapple. And the grapple's super dangerous. Almost there. How am I gonna get over there? Is there a spot to throw a spear at? Yeah, kinda. Ooh, first try. Uh... Lights, please. There we go. Is your sister up to naughty? Is your sister being the- oh, is that your sister? Is your sister a skeleton? Uh oh. Two at once. Actually not that bad. One down. Oh, there's a lot of you guys. Okay. Oop, that hurt. Okay, I need, to, I need to heal. Oh, no. Oop. Got him. Oh, boy. I'm working on a float here. Don't give up. Oh no. Where'd you come from? Oh no! I missed when that attack happened. Shit. I glanced at my health bar and saw, oh, it's empty. <laughs> Not only was it empty, it was like my entire health bar was white, meaning it was the strike that, the strike or strikes that took out my entire health bar were had just happened. And I did not see any red on my entire health bar, so I don't even know how much health I had. Just somewhere in there, there was some health hanging out that <laughs> I couldn't quite make out.